you've been thinking that you want to purchase a home in Orange County but have no idea how much it's going to cost you, this episode is going to be for you. Hi, I'm Josh Alexander and your host of Orange County Housing Market News, your one-stop shop for all things Orange County real estate. On today's episode, I'm actually going to be going over the cost that you can expect to incur if you decide to purchase a home in 2023 in Orange County. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so when you go to purchase a home in Orange County, there's basically three different things that you're going to need to account for when you're making a budget to figure out if you can afford to purchase a home or not. So they're going to be the down payment, the closing costs, as well as some miscellaneous fees that you have to worry about inside of escrow. So let's go ahead and go over all three of those, starting with the down payment. So down payments, typically you're gonna need anywhere from three to three and a half percent on most types of loan. You can obviously put more than that down. However, you're gonna to have to have that minimum of three to three and a half percent. Now there are some exceptions to this. So if you're a veteran, you can go as low as zero percent down. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and assume you're going to get a standard loan and you're going to need to have a minimum of three and a half percent down to be able to purchase a home. Now the next big thing that you need to budget for are closing costs. So closing costs are going to consist of a lot of different things. However, some of the big ones are going to be your lender fees, your escrow fees, any prepayment of taxes, your insurance, all these type of things are gonna be rolled up into closing costs, which are going to be due when you go to close escrow on your new home. Now typically in Orange County, I tell most buyers to budget about 2% for these type of closing costs. And that way in most cases, that will cover what you're gonna to need to have set aside so you can cover the closing costs when the time comes. And then third is going to be the miscellaneous fees that you incur inside of escrow. So the two major ones that you're going to have to deal with almost every time you purchase a home, especially if you're getting a loan, number one is going to be the appraisal. Typically, the lender is going to have you prepay for that appraisal before it happens during escrow. And those fees are usually around $600 right now. And then the second thing you're gonna to have to prepay is going to be your general home inspection. So when the inspector goes out there, checks out the property, you're going to have to pay them at the time of the inspection. And again, that typically is going to run around the $600 range. So in all, in escrow, you usually want to account for about $1,200 of fees, maybe a little bit more than that if you want any secondary inspections done, or just to have a little bit extra set aside in case something does come up in escrow. So just to summarize, you're going to have that 3.5% minimum down payment that you're going to need to have set aside. You also want to budget for about 2% of the purchase price to be able to have for closing costs, and then additional $1,200 to $1,500 available for any fees inside of escrow that you need to worry about. So now let's go ahead and run some scenarios for you in terms of purchasing a house as well as purchasing a condo so you can get a good idea of the minimum you're going to need based on the average priced home and condo inside Orange County as we go into 2023. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with condos first. So right now in Orange County, the average price for a condo going up for sale is $725,000. So that's the number we're going to use to be able to calculate this information. So when you take that and look at the three and a half percent that you're going to need to have saved up, that that's going to equate to right around $25,375. An additional 2% on top of that for closing cost is $14,500. And then again, you want to have about $1,200 saved up so you have that within inside of escrow. So all in all, you're going to need to have saved up about $41,000 to be able to purchase the average price condo within Orange County. Okay, so now let's look at the single family home. So right now, the average price for a single family home that is going on the market in Orange County is right around $1.2 million. So to have that 3.5% saved up, you're gonna to need to have around $42,000 set aside. On top of that, the extra 2% for closing cost is an additional $24,000. And again, those miscellaneous fees inside of escrow about $1,200. And that's going to put you at a total amount you need to have saved up to buy a $1.2 million home at a minimum right around $67,000. Now let's say instead of 3.5%, you wanted to put 5% down which might get you a slightly better interest rate, the total amount you need to have saved up in that case is going to be right around $85,000. Now, whether you're buying a condo or a single family home in Orange County, you can obviously put more down than the three and a half or 5%, and that's gonna help decrease your monthly mortgage cost. However, this will give you a basic understanding of what the bare minimum you're going to need is if you're thinking about purchasing a home. So if your income is great, but you're just not sure how much you have to have saved up to be able to purchase a home, this should be able to give you a roadmap on how to get there and give you an idea of what exactly you need to do and where you need to get to in terms of your savings to be able to get to a point where you're able 
able to purchase a home inside Orange County, whether it be a condo or a single family home. So if you're finding this information useful, please make sure you don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell button below if you're watching this on YouTube, because I put out more helpful information for both buyers and sellers every single week to be able to make sure that you can win when you decide to buy or sell a home in Orange County. So until next week, stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you on the next show. Bye.